Hey guys, it's Pixel Plume. Welcome back to Mother 3 Blind episode 59. Oh my gosh. In the last episode, we started chapter 8. We got here to New Park City and everything's just so freaking fake. <laughs> That's just the best way to sum it up. Everything just feels so fake in this town. I don't get it. You know? Like, Taz really had hearts. This is just weird. <laughs> this is just a little weird. But look at that. Look at, look at Jack. He's, look at him squat down to talk to the bug. And, the, and this episode, we're going to continue our exploration of the city because we've only really covered the bottom half of it. We haven't actually got to the top part of it quite yet. But I do want to explore more of this town because there's a lot to see. It's ultimate baffage at its potential. I can't even move. Oh my... 777? Seven, seven, seven? Alright, what's this? What's this? I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. They'll make you very happy. Okay. I want to see... Look at them spin! So cute! Oh. Well, we got seven and then something else. Aren't, aren't you swell? I'm their friend, Thomas Jefferson. What? I'm their brother, Pincho. I'm the big brother, Poncho. I think I read that out of order. Oh, uh, well. It's the Porky Wheel. Porky go around. Also known as a Pego Cell. Aw. Oh, that doesn't quite roll off the tongue, but okay. Hello! I heard they say rude stuff around him like I'm a drunk of a booze hound. What are you talking about? Here we go! I'm just a middle-aged guy with hiccups, oh yeah! I don't- I haven't gone on a date with Matt in a long time! This really brings back memories! <laughs> Ugh. Gross. <laughs> Look at these teacups! Aren't they cute? Porky cups! Say, is your life spinning out of control? No, no, it's quite stable right now. This city has a real kitty vibe to it. Maybe this portion of town, but sure. Oh, you're here too, Lucas? I love to meet Master Porky Cup. No, you don't. He's the person who built the city. We built this city going round and round the Porky Coaster. That's one stall step for man, one giant thrill for pork kind. Ugh. You love a good porking. No, you don't. So why would you like a pork city? That's just weird. Everyone convinced me to come to the city, but I feel more dizzy than anything, really. Hello, Viking. It's a mixed reception. You know, you can't please them all. Porky Viking ship. Watch out for falling heart attack. Ugh. What's this? Porky wheel? Kissing aloud. Well, that, that's, that's cute. I, I guess if it's for kids. But I don't know about that, actually. What's over here? You're a vending machine, I would. There's all kinds of shops in this town. Oh, this is where the good stuff is. Yeah, this is where the good weapons are. All right. I, I can I can, I can jiggy with this. I need a frog, buddy, though. I need a frog. Oh, how convenient. Hello, Mr. Frog. I would like to get DP stuff. Withdraw all my life savings to buy some equips. Let's do it. Well, actually, I'll have to sell something first to make room. Um, what don't, what, what don't I need? I don't actually think I'll need this cola. I bought it for five. I can get five back. I just want to get like better weapons. So buy a master stick and sell my clever stick. Kumator, you need some nice gloves and uh, good shoes. I will do that. Uh, heavy charm, no. Uh, kite bandana, yes. Sell the crow bandana. Ooh, a bright bracelet. Bracelets for all. Definitely a good thing. So Scorpio is almost the last one. There's also Sagittarius, but I don't know if that's what we started with or not. But you know what? I'll roll with it. Well, there we go. That we still have money left. That's always good. Give the money back to the frog because he does such a good job of saving it. My life saving is in your hands, Mr. Frog. Are you prepared for that? All right. Here's the couple I don't like. Hello. I'll go with Abbott wherever he goes. Even the world is a four chapter story. I spent all four of those chapters with him. Aww. If I were to say, compare my life to a story, I would say we're at the start of the 15th chapter of a 16 to- What? Wow, way to, way to ruin the- Alright, well. I guess we're at the 15th chapter of a 16th of this plot. Do it look like a hermit crab? Oh, Lucas, we're just practicing our comedy routine. No, oh, these guys. Everyone here nowadays. So this is where you can see all of your old friends again. But do you suppose the forest and Tasman and all those other places are empty now? I wonder what's going to happen to them. I would be sad if they were gone. 
I'll, I'll deal with this tower a little bit later, because I actually want to meet Porky right now. I want to actually keep... Oh, no, we've seen the rest of the stuff. Okay. Never mind then. We're just going to go up to the tower. We did a good route. We did, we did a good route, as far as that goes. Hello. This is the Empire Porky Building. Headquarters for the Porky Corporation. So you're the ones who... <laughs> no, no, no. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Never mind me. Smile, smile. ka -ching. Don't you dare touch it with your filthy, sticky fingers. It would be so kind. Smile, smile. Wow, what a bunch of ass bites. This really does remind me of Undertale, like the hotel in that game. You know, it, it just has that feel. And I, it's a little shame that I played Undertale first instead of this, but what can you do? That game made me want to play this. Partially. So you finally came here too, Lucas? Is Flint still there looking for Flint? If only he'd come to me for serious help, we might have been able to find him. He's an awkward fellow that fall in there of yours. Oh, even you wound up coming here? Please don't cause us any more trouble. Wow, disrespectful all the way around. These people suck. All right, let's see. I would like to see what you are selling. All right. Ooh, these cup noodles, they definitely come in handy. I will come back for those later if I can. Welcome, this is the Empire Pork Building, home of the great master Porky. So I heard something about a basement. Ooh, hot spring. There's always got to be one. Ah, uh, that's nice. I do like that. It's like the Pokemon Centers, except water for a dog. Holding it up all so beautifully. I can see your neck. No problem here? Okay. Well, it's a very pretty place you got here, ma'am. I assume you own it, reception lady. The Empire Porky. The item-friendly guy. Uh, what can we deposit? Uh... You know, there are a couple things that I don't need on me, like, I don't think that trigger card is gonna- I haven't used any of this, those, like, gimmick card items, really. The Silver Dragonfly, Hermit Shell Crab, no, 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 no. All this stuff. Why do I still have that? I thought I sold it. Oh well. I'll hold on to it anyways. Uh, the rest of that stuff is good. Be good. Definitely just stuck up some items, though. We're a little running short. But that guy, that statue of Master Porky looks a lot like a kid, doesn't he? Think? What do you think's up with that? Well, maybe it's because run by a kid. Has everyone ever seen Master Porky before? How old do you think he is? He must be amazing to build a city like this. If you if you insist. He just seems he just seems like a jerk. Uh, so we can't go up there either. I kept the chicken on because the chicken's hilarious. Let's just be real. So we can't go in here either. I see. So how are we supposed to get up? Um. Okay. Well, I guess this is not the place to be. Right now, but uh, maybe the sewer is actually the direction we need to go to. So we'll just go down to the sewers real quick and figure out where we need to go. Those escalators are fun and all, but lab? There's no lab here. We need to figure a way to get in that sewer. I feel like that's the direction we need to, direction we need to go in right now. Let's see. Oh, I already talked to you. That's what happens when you split things up and you don't know what you're doing, but that's that's the beauty of a blind playthrough. You don't know what you're doing, and that's what makes it great. Into the theater we go again. Alright, we can't run here. That's annoying. Who are you anyways? What are you trying to be? Disrespectful? Alright, let's actually try to find the stink bug. Oh right, that's what we're trying to find, the stink bug dude. There you are! Hello! That's what we were looking for, I forgot. Hello, Mr. B what? Mr. Buck! Bony, come back! Make it bigger. But Bony, come back here! Oh no, we lost our dog! Alright, let's let's just get in there. We gotta we gotta get our No problem, our dog got in there. But for people to fit through this though, but we need help. We need help. Ugh. You are annoying. Can you leave? Can you like leave? Wow, that whole yes, I know. Alright, well. Doesn't smell anymore. Alright, well. What are we gonna do now? We gotta find we gotta find him. Oh, what's in here? Oh, okay, hello. He's actually a figure made of clay and dough. He's well crafted. Ugh. Toto? What? 
so confused. We're a bunch of sneaky snakes. You know, we like to go through the back, the back entrance, but that's... Alright, well, we don't got Boney anymore. What do we do now? Boney, come back! Boney, come back! Oh dear. Well, we lost Boney. That's a little tragic. You shouldn't be going through those. I thought we were gonna get to play as Boney again. I loved playing the hide and seek, but now I don't know what we're doing. Maybe he went to the sewers. I don't know. What's this? What is. Boney, are you here? Come, come here, boy. Come on, boy. No problem here, but there is a problem. I can't find my dog. My dog went missing. What am I supposed to do? Oh dear. Um, maybe Empire City can help me? Is this how I activate it? Hello? I don't have my dog anymore. Can I come in now? Maybe the elevator is working again. No, it's not. Well, that's a little unfortunate. We lost my dog. Where can we find him? I just don't know. I just cannot see. 777, that's not the place to be. No, I can't go down that way. This up means up and down means down. That's just the way that this town works. Can't even be a rebel about it. Well, we lost my dog. That's that's great, you know. He man's best friend just goes through a hole and all of a sudden he's gone forever. <sighs> I weep and weep and weep all day. I'll cut back to where you actually find something, so BRB. Alright, so I asked around. I asked around the theater and it said somewhere familiar with the stairs going down. Hmm. Can we actually leave the city? I don't think we can, but it's a place we've been to before. Is what the tips that clues I got. It was a stupid place too. That's the tips I got were given. You know, because we have to like follow the stink bug and stuff like that. Just keeping you posted as I progress, you know. But you know, maybe it was a bathroom. Where was there a bath? I recall there being a bathroom. You know, that, that leads to... That takes you down to the sewers. Maybe that's a place we can go. There's a bathroom here. I want to go to the bathroom. Out of the way! Mr. Restroom, let me in. Yes. But... It, maybe I just want to go in here. I'm just trying to use my noodle capoodle. Yep, it's still empty here, Bronson. I understand that. Alright, well, when I get more tips... I will come back, so just keep me posted what I'm finding so far, because consistency is key. <laughs> See you in a bit. So my f f adventure continues, leads me into this arcade. What's going on over here? I don't ever know, actually. I've been hearing a dog whimper for a while. Oh, okay. Thanks so much for the tip. I actually had to go Skype a friend to see exactly where to go because I got stuck here. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This town is huge. I can't go check it out, though. The reason being, I'm afraid of dogs. Seriously, no, your noses are wet. They wag their tails. They look at people. That sounds so cute. Oh my god. I will look for that dog. You'll go look for him? Okay, I'll open this heavy cover. I'm putting myself at major risk, though. Okay! Open the sewer entrance for you! Here goes nothing! I have no idea how long it's upstairs anymore, because I have to cut... I probably have to cut so much of this footage up. Because I can't search the... It's the sewer! Boney, where are you? That's Boney's barking! He must be nearby! Thank you. Thank you, Miss- Thank you, Miss Kumatora. Very helpful of you. Oh. We get to fight these things! Ugh! A metal attack roach and its cohorts! Alright, so... I'm not messing around with these things. Get out of here. Putrid trash. Ooh, PK stars. Ugh, I don't know if I want to use that quite yet. That seems like a that seems pretty excessive, honestly. Uh, stable down that putrid moldy man. What is? No, don't solidify my body. That that's disrespectful. All right, I can't move. PK fire, burn them. I'm assuming. Okay, I can't move. Well, that's 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 just that's just not great. Um, get rid of that moldy man. Combo attack. Combo attack! PK Thunder! Strike strike my enemy! There's two of them! On the thing! Alright. Can't move still, alright. Well, that's a, that's a darn shame. 
All right, well, these are new enemies. All right, so the Peach and Molly Man's gone. PK Thunder, shock it. Okay, good. Bye-bye. Into submission you go. 51, <laughs> get a level up here. That's that's good. I don't know if I want, get away from me, Peach and Molly Man. Boney's barking for me. All right, well, you guys hopefully won't take too long. But that's okay, because take your time. Take your time to get through here. Please don't make me smell. I'm assuming that's one of its tactics that it does, but, you know, I just don't want to deal with that right now. Get out of here. You are moldy. <laughs> kick, kick the can. I love that game. What's all these metal enemies, though? Like, seriously, I ran into, like, the metal monkeys, and now the metal these guys. What's in this hole? At least in the movie theater. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too big. <laughs> There's a, there's a sauna here. Okay, well, that's a little disconcerting, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Oh, well. You gotta take what you can get. So we're all healed up. That's good. That's that's fine by me, going through all this. What? There's a trash can here. What's in here? Ta-da! A salt! Ooh, salt water gun. What's in here? Oh, hello. Well, you're no trouble, really. I'll just take you down real quick, and we can be on our merry, merry way. That's a cute, these trash can things, it's like all the time, like, electrodes, I think, of like, one instance, but that kind of thing, it's like, alright, well, you know, I just didn't want to run to an electrode, and when I try to catch it, it just blows up on me, you know, that's, that's respectful. What's this? Ooh, magic, ew, I don't know if I want to eat that, that's a little, a little gross, wouldn't you say? I don't want to touch those roaches either. Bunny, we're coming for you! No, get away from me! This is too much! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Fine, you know what? I'm not playing around today. You're gonna both suffer pretty hardcore. Cause I am not- Stop it! No, I don't have any mints on me! Burn them. I do not want to deal with that. I don't have any fresh mints, so you'll just have to, you know, cooperate, please. Get out, kick the can. I'm gonna say that every time. All right, let's see. What items do we have? Like, maybe a side technique without health? All right, there we go. So that cures that. Done and done. Oh, hello, Mr. Bug. What are you selling today? It's always about finding stuff on the floor. Okay, just simple stuff. Like the fresh mints. Twinkle. What is this place? Ugh. Oh, is this the underground that they're talking about? There's no one inside. It's like all sketchy and stuff like that. Sketchy bears. Ooh, a save point? Maybe we should end the episode off now. I'm not sure. If there's anything back there... I'm a little scared. I'm I'm a scared. Oh! <gasps> what happened to you, mister? Are you alright? Oh no. I see you up there. I'm coming to save you. That's the clock tower, man. What is he doing up there? This music's also very sad. Bony! I chased off this strange bug and yeah. Come back to us, boy. You know what? Let's just make this a super long episode and keep going. I don't care how long this is. Let's look in the next room. I saw. Hello. Are you all right, Mr. Clock Tower Man? I thought we'd never see you again. Yes, it's me. Letter, the bell ringer. It must be a real shock to be hearing me speaking for once. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time. I simply chose not to. As I rang that crossroad bell, deep in my heart, I decided I would speak to no one. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Lucas, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you must absolutely hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. Yes, I will. Given who you are and how you've lived, 
what I will say will tear at your hearts. And there's just so much to tell. So I decided to have this stink bug trembling behind me mes memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stink Bug? Okay. Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. The world was incredibly big. More people like lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know this may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? Yes. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that this would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Did you understand all of it? It's like the Zelda Links to the Past. Did you understand this? <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. But just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmanly Village. Yes, aboard the white ship were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on the ship still went by their names from the previous world. The white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. Oh, like Noah's Ark. And although they're part of this world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even though the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far had been about the white ship. Did you understand all of it? Have you committed everything so far in memory, Mr. Stinkbug? Nah. The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the island themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with a dragon. However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Majesty people who had lived here since ancient times. Since, since the Majesties have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its powers is truly needed. Thus, in the whole time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of it, the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragons and the magipsies. Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the white ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at the conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memory of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes. In short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That is what happened. The people reset their lives in a small, peaceful village, in a kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything. The world, their belongings, their rules, and then they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would reset and replaced with their newly created story and thus the village of Tasmanly came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was a device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Oh, that makes sense. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the role of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Osohe Castle? They went to retrieve the secrets of the people of the white ship. 
And then one other thing. Me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. Like Overwatch. I was the one in the village of Tasmili who wasn't given the role in the new story. The sound of the bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Letter, comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected because I would stand, it would be easy for me to stand out. Being so tall, people wanted to come to see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing the secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. All of Tasmanly Village exists in reality. It was originally created as a part of a story- Oh! I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? I do understand that's going to be a very long episode, but I am interested- This story has been really good though. Let me also talk about Osohe Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the king of Osohe. However, when we arrived on the white ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. It seems as though they left the island, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Kumatora was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Majesties to raise, and given the role of Princess of Osohe Castle. West and Duster became their retainers, and was another part of their fabricated story. Osohe Castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We created the stories in haste, so the people it, inside it would have very little past or history. Have you not noticed that no one in can talk about things from hundreds or thousands of years ago? Oh my god. In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myth and legends, but our story was made in such a hurry. We weren't able to. It's a real shame. I'm sure that there's much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? I have. Have you committed everything to memory so far? Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmany would turn out, but things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new abilities, identities even. They believed that they'd always live together peacefully. It was then but a person named Porky stumbled upon these islands that everyone had some everything ugh, started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorted machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all of the times and spaces and tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he used a time distorted to bring many people from other eras here. The Pigmas, as well as everyone in New Pork City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view this island as his own personal toy box, which which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make chimeras that are creepy and new. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned the white ship secrets because of a traitor among the magic- What? This traitor was known as Locria, the seventh magic- What? And the only one you haven't met yet. After Locria joined forces with Por- Oh my god. Porky learned about the white ship people and the secrets of the sleeping dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles and wake the dragon, so he could use the power for himself. The dragon has a new power on this very earth, you see. It said whoever pulls the needles, the sealing needles, will become the dragon's master. However, only a very select few are capable of holding the dragon's needles. Apparently none of the magic sees nor Porky have that capability. Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who controlled the dragon's power. We have to put a stop to drink Porky's antics. If we don't. The world will be completely destroyed again, and will spell the truth end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. Well, the last handful of people there are absolutely cannot happen to happen. Lucas, it seems you are a chosen one, with the ability to pull the needle, sealing the dragons away. 
You must pull the dark dragon's needles with your own hands and pass your heart onto the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you understand everything about the dragon's awakening? I do. I hear that six of the dragon's needles have already been pulled. Deep in the earth, the dragon is likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly, the new last needle is somewhere here in New Pork City. Pork has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City to prepare for the dra final needle's pollings. It's possible he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now is the chance to change this looming crisis to a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Lucas, you were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fill. Now that you know everything, including everything, I'm sure you'd rather not know. The time has come for you to save the future and all lives we, as we know it. God won't make you bear more than you can have Harry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you're not fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their supports. And that was a long story, but that is the end of everything I have to tell you. Did you understand it all? Only the Mad Gypsies really know the Neo's locations, so I don't know where to find them. But from the way Porkinos have been acting, I would say they're now very close to reaching that seventh needle. Please, Lucas, please be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. Start by jumping to the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted, ditto. <laughs> Nineteen minutes of this, the stink but should remember everything I just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget everything I said here, you can ask him to repeat it. Will you go with him, Mr. Stinkbug? Wow. That was a lot to take in. A really long episode, but I'm really glad that I understand a lot of what's going on. With that said, we're going to continue our final fights as we progress in Chapter 8. This has been Pixel Plume, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.